Hi my beautiful souls, how are you guys doing today? I hope you're all doing very well. So I'm super excited about today's video because I'm going to be talking about something that is super important for this time of the year, which is sunscreen. Now, I feel like you already know it. You know that we have to wear sunscreen. You've been told this so many times, but I still wonder, do you actually wear sunscreen every single day, especially on your face and on any body part that is exposed to the sun pretty much all the time, anytime that you go outside? Sunscreen is also a very important part of our hand care routine. I'm also going to be giving you guys some recommendations of mineral sunscreens, which are all vegan and natural as well. So make sure to watch the video until the end to not only learn about those, but to also learn how you can enter a giveaway and win some amazing mineral sunscreens that are really, really good. So without any further ado, let's get into the video. Why exactly do we need to wear sunscreen? Basically, there are two types of UV rays that come from the sun. There's ultraviolet A, UVA, and there's the ultraviolet B, UVB. Now, ultraviolet A radiation has been associated with premature aging, for example, and ultraviolet B radiation has been associated with basically skin burning. And it's those UVB rays that have also been associated with developing skin cancers, even to the point of melanoma. So basically exposure to an excess amount of UV radiation can damage the genetic material of your skin. Basically what that means is that your skin cells start to grow exponentially to the point of just kind of getting out of control, which is in the end of the day, what ends up causing skin cancer. And that's what happens when you are exposed to the harmful UV rays that come from the sun at the worst case. And in best case scenario, maybe you will just see some signs of premature aging, or maybe it's gonna be as little as seeing some uneven tones or textures in your skin as well. There's so much that the UV rays can do to our skin. You might be using all kinds of moisturizers and hyaluronic acids and vitamin C serums, and you know, you have this amazing skincare routine, but you don't wear sunscreen. And let me tell you, all of that is for nothing if you don't wear sunscreen. Now let's talk about chemical and mineral sunscreen. So basically, these are the two types of sunscreens that are out there in the market. The chemical sunscreens are probably the more popular, more well-known. Those are the things that you're gonna find in the drugstore mostly, at least, like any shelves filled with sunscreen are most likely gonna be chemical sunscreen. Basically what the difference is between chemical and mineral sunscreens is that chemical sunscreens use UV filters that absorb into the skin and they also allow the UV rays to penetrate through the skin and then with those chemical UV filters and, and the UV rays, a reaction is caused where the UV rays are turned into energy, thus not having time to actually harm our skin. And mineral sunscreens, on the other hand, they're also sometimes called physical sunscreens, or sometimes people are also gonna call them natural sunscreens, although I wouldn't say that's the right terminology for that necessarily. Um, but mineral sunscreens use mineral UV filters, most commonly zinc oxide and titanium oxide in combination with one another and what they do is that they don't absorb into the skin they stay on your skin and they work as kind of a shield on your skin reflecting the UV rays away off from your skin never really allowing those UV rays to actually penetrate the skin or ever and ever get into our skin and that's pretty much the difference between chemical and mineral sunscreen now both chemical and mineral sunscreens have been proven to be completely effective and work very well with chemical sunscreens because they do have to absorb into your skin until they can actually protect your skin from the sun that's the reason why you have to apply them 20 to 30 minutes before you go out into the sun to make sure that you get that uh, needed protection. Mineral sunscreens, on the other hand, they offer immediate protection. Chemical sunscreens also use chemical UV filters. The one chemical UV filter, which is actually quite common in sunscreens that has been um, shown to be possibly harmful for our health is oxybenzone. So if I would say stay away from one chemical UV filter, it's oxybenzone. On the other hand, zinc oxide and titanium oxide, they are the mineral UV filters and they haven't been shown to do any harm. But there is actually another argument against chemical sunscreens and that would be the fact that some chemical UV filters have been proven to be harmful for the oceans and the reefs as well. In fact, the chemical UV filters avobenzone and oxybenzone have been 
proven to actually bleach reefs. It's actually gone so far that any sunscreen with avobenzone or oxybenzone have been forbidden by law in the islands of Hawaii starting of 2021 to my understanding. I do definitely always opt for a mineral sunscreen instead of a chemical sunscreen and there are four main reasons for that. Number one is that mineral sunscreens are usually more gentle for our skin, they're less irritating for our skin. The second reason is the fact that they offer immediate protection. Number three would be of course that mineral sunscreens are far more likely to be reef friendly than the chemicals sunscreen and last but not least you guys know it I'm vegan we're a vegan company and we want to use vegan products and whilst you can find vegan chemical sunscreens as well I'm sure you can it for me seems to be much easier to find vegan mineral sunscreens even though I'm not gonna lie even that is very very difficult I've been really testing out so many sunscreens for the past few months um, with a lot of not so great ones and then some really good ones which I would say are great in their ingredients, their natural cosmetics, re-friendly, vegan, and they don't leave a white coat. So I'm gonna be sharing those with you guys right now. Okay, the first brand I'm gonna share with you guys is I Plus M. This is their new launch this year, and I was just so excited to be trying their sunscreens out because they haven't had them before. And we at Kishalata, obviously, we love I Plus M as a company. They're also a 100% vegan skincare company and they have amazing products, so definitely check them out. And we were super excited to see that they also had made some sunscreen. And we tested them out, or I tested them out, and honestly, guys, these are amazing. They really apply so nicely onto your skin. It's very easy, and you can use them from head to toe all over your body. They have a uh, sunscreen for um, sensitive skin and then they have the normal sunscreen and this one especially smells amazing as well and nothing but good things to say about their sunscreens they have them in SPF 20 and 30 and these are all re-friendly they don't have any nanoparticles they use zinc oxide and titanium uh, oxide as their UV filters and we also have a little surprise for you guys we partnered up with I plus M for a little giveaway where you can win their sensitive sunscreen SPF 30, their normal sunscreen SPF 20, and also their after sun gel. So this is a complete package of SPF 30, SPF 20, and after sun, plus some beautiful summer nail polish colors from us. So make sure to go check out our Instagram channel and find the picture where you will see these bottles and our nail polishes. That will be the giveaway post and all you need to do is follow the instructions that we will have on our caption and you will be eligible to win a sunscreen. The next sunscreen I wanted to share with you guys is from We Love The Planet. Again, it's a new launch from them this year and I was just so excited to see this. Um, they're always so innovative with their products, We Love The Planet, and also with their packaging. So this one I'm going to suggest for anyone who's very specifically into zero waste or plastic free or anything like that, which to be honest, I feel like we all should be trying to do that. Of course, I just am so impressed by We Love The Planet and how they are so committed to creating the least wasteful packaging for all of their products. We Love The Planet creates a 100% natural SPF. They have these in SPF 20 and SPF 30. And basically what this is, is a little tube stick uh, which you can then apply onto your face or all over to your skin. And then of course, use your hands to um, better apply it all over. Again, use a zinc oxide and titanium oxide as their UV filters and I'm just very impressed with how well this actually works. Okay, let's go to the final SPF recommendation, which I'm very excited to share because this one is, I would say, the most easily available sunscreen because these are sold in DMs. This is the Boeb Sunscreen SPF 30. This one actually uses only zinc oxide as, it, as its mineral sunscreen, but that's also common. I mean, most commonly you will see zinc oxide and titanium oxide in combination, but sometimes you'll see um, only zinc oxide, for example. Um, this is also without any nanoparticles. It's re-friendly. It is also free from microplastics, which is also amazing. And this one also does not leave a white coat. None of the products that I've mentioned leave a white coat. They also have this one for more sensitive skin. So this again is the normal one. I usually tend to like the ones for normal skin instead of sensitive skin. I feel like the ones for sensitive skin are sometimes a little bit harder to apply. 
just my opinion, but they do have that option as well. So those were our mineral sunscreen recommendations for you. Those are all really, really good, and I really hope that you find your favorite one from there. And that was also the video for today. I really hope that you enjoyed it and learned something new about sunscreens and why you should be wearing a sunscreen. And I hope now you got a little reminder to get yourself a really good sunscreen that you can use on an everyday basis. I'm super excited to see you guys in our next video. Until then, you guys, bye.